The solution to the exhaust from our fossil fuel driven cars is nitrogen fixing plants like the black locust tree and the alder tree. What you're looking at right here is a black locust tree that we planted in April of this year. It is now October and it was the size of a pencil when we put it in. We got it from the national state, uh, sorry, from the Maryland State Nursery. These were a buck 25 last year. I think they've gone up to two bucks each this year. But um, what you're seeing is as we get closer to the highway out here in front of our house, they are huge. In just six months, they grew to over eight feet tall. Look at these guys. These guys are thriving on the exhaust from the fuel, fossil fuel driven cars. And they're not only absorbing all that nitrogen, they're putting it back into the soil so that they can help other plants grow. There was a person who does uh, fruit trees. He, he pulled up his entire orchard and put nitrogen fixing trees every third tree. And then he found that he didn't need any fertilizer. These guys fertilize everything around them. This is the tallest black locust tree that we have from April of this year. You can see it's towering over me. It was just a sapling. It's right here on the road. It is sucking up all the nitrogen the car sent by. It is putting that back into the soil and helping the flowers grow. This is the tree that you want all along the roads across the USA to suck up all that nitrogen dioxide, which was in the news recently because people in Rockville, Maryland are finding too much nitrogen dioxide in their homes and they're breathing it. Put your nitrogen fixing plants like black locust trees and alder trees near the road and they will suck up all the exhaust from the cars going by.